Don't you know, many fighters have been killed by the Starfighter. King Cold's awesome. I wish they'd done more with him. I'd, I'd, I'd bring him back in the movie, like the same way we did Frieza. Well, I'd bring okay. him back. Oh, this is what I'm going to ask. Z, now, this is one thing I always wondered. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Now, I don't know if this was ever established, but I, I think in the manga, it says that King Cold's more powerful than Frieza. Now, in his, does that mean that his second form, that's the furthest he evolved from? Or could he have evolved even further? Or were they actually reading his like true power and he just hadn't accessed it yet because he was only in the second form? Well, in the manga, it actually said that um, King Cold is of a similar power level to Frieza, not that he was stronger. Mm-hmm. Um, do, do you know that PS2 DBZ game? Yeah. Three? Which one? Yeah, no punch, dude. <laughs> T- Tenkaichi 3, three okay. the third one. Mm-hmm. Um, and the character bio in that game, it said that King Cold was actually stronger than both Frieza and Cooler. Mm-hmm. Um, and that that's really the... And, and you know, that's a game. We haven't really gotten any sort of, like, canon um, information that Cold is stronger than Frieza. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, Cold, Cold does look like um, Frieza's form and... Uh, We've seen Frieza's true form is his final form. Yeah, so but I'm pretty sure they said that when uh when the when Frieza and King Cole were approaching that Piccolo and Vegeta were say, were stating that there was a strong one stronger than Frieza on board the ship. Yeah, I that's what I remember saying. Yeah. Unless uh, they, unless they unless they thought that they that was Frieza and the Frieza as an android was even more powerful. I'm pretty sure they mentioned that there was someone else with him. Like, yeah, I thought I thought that oh, there's someone even stronger than him. Like, I do remember that line. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure they were implying it that way. Uh, um, I can, I, I guess I can check. I, I, I know the check the okay. DVD. Well, this, this is this is what I'm wondering though. Nah, the chapters. Now. Is that e- even if that's the case, even if he wasn't as strong as Frieza, he was only in his second form, as far as we can tell. Well, yeah, that's like the big um debate. Like, why didn't King Cold like transform into like? Well, you know... well, remember, remember what they did was Frieza didn't want to like show people his true power. He didn't want them to know his limitations, and he, it also remember it also puts a great strain on his body because he doesn't have control over his key. He's not a martial artist. He just does that physical power. So he had to keep his power lower and keep with the lower transformation to keep the power from being restrained. Otherwise, it would put too much pressure on his body. Mm. That's that's why he did that. That's why. Goku was like, you can't really hold that up for too long at 100% power, can you? So, maybe King Cold was just oh. reserved. Yeah, Tien actually says Cold is stronger. Wow, I, there, didn't, I didn't know that. There you go. Right there, there's the link. Uh, there's that, the link is manga here, slash like, manga, slash dragon. Ball. Like it's Frieza. Oh, so Cold is... <laughs> wow, Cold in his second form is stronger than Mecha Frieza. Think about know, that. Like, Guys, no, think shit. about that. If he had been... Trump a, swiped them out, like... What the fuck? <laughs> that doesn't even make any. Yeah, that's fucking. Uh, Super Saiyans are too damn strong. Yeah. I think King Cold became my new favorite villain. <laughs> no, King Cold's King Cold's underrated. In fact, I'm gonna write about him too. I'm actually. <laughs> uh, I'm just giving you guys a little sneak preview. This might be on the recording or not, but well, I'm gonna do a new series of videos where I'm gonna talk about underrated anime villains, and he's gonna be on the list. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so I'm assuming like Knives is there too. So. Uh, Knives is gonna be on there. Harry McDowell. Uh, Swatangu, um, Tenzen, Ampol, Court Father Cornello, Souther, Dante. Uh, I'm also gonna talk a little about um, Naraku, and uh, <clears throat> huh? But but look at this though, um. Gohan is saying over here that uh, Frieza can increase his power even more. Even more from that point. Well, well, Frieza, not King Cold. So I don't know. <laughs> well, M- maybe. Well, 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 then again, this is Tony Yama we're talking about. So there are times where he can, you know, be a little inconsistent. <laughs> uh, a little. How about a lot? <laughs> I don't know. But the point is that King Cold was supposed to be stronger than Frieza. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I figured he was. But, I guess potentially. I mean, just like the entrance alone, where Frieza's just like there, and then King Cole's like just like right behind him, just sitting down. Like, well, oh, this is the plan you're talking about, Frieza. <laughs> well, to be perfectly honest, I'm not entirely sure if like it always works completely based on power, who's in charge. But I assumed that the way their their family worked, that the most powerful guy would be in charge. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's called King Cold. <laughs> not, not not only that, when when Frieza died, King Cold wanted Trunks to like join him. Exactly. He's like, 
t- take my son's place. So and that's yeah, like it's, the it's most... pretty much like the Saiyans. It's pretty much like they only care about strength. Mm-hmm. 